28 days. This is how long it took Time Dio to make his first 50 million coins. And I'm gonna try and make double that in under 24 hours. Okay, so I'm on a brand new Minecraft account and I'm gonna create a new profile. And this is with the intention to get 100 million coins as fast as possible. I have loads of different money making methods planned that will hopefully make me a lot of money and can hopefully help you make some coins too. Okay, so we're gonna start off with some farming. So then we can go to a farming island and start our first money making method. Okay, so we're in the desert settlement and for our first money making method, we're gonna be sand mining. I have an efficiency for golden shovel and we're gonna see how much this makes. A okay, we just hit mining 12 and this will hopefully allow us to go to the dwarven mines and find some new money making methods. In the 17 minutes of mining sand, I made a total of 100k coins. So in a now you'd make 300k, which isn't really good, but you only need the golden shovel with efficiency 3. But do not worry, there's better money making methods later in the video. And with this new acquired money, I convinced some guy in a hub to sell me 30 enchanted redstone for the sand I had. And you might be going, what? Why 30 enchanted redstone? It's asking you for 10 of each item. Well, there's actually currently a bug that allows you to just give 30 enchanted redstone. But I don't think I'm allowed to say how it's done. Hey, let's go. We unlocked the dwarven mines. <laughs> but just before starting the second money making method, I had to go claim my free booster cookie. Okay, so we just unlocked the community shop, which should allow us to get a free booster cookie. Okay, and let's eat the booster cookie. And this should allow us to get bits and we can buy a god potion with it. Okay, so we're in the Dwarven Mines, and for our second money-making method, we're going to be grinding Ice Walkers, just so we can get combat level 12 and access the end. But this also actually makes a lot of money, so let's start grinding. Okay, so in the 5 minutes of grinding this, because it took me so long to find the lobby, I got 2 Glacite Jewels, a Glacite Boots, Glacite Leggings, and Glacite Boots again. Okay, so if we add up all the things we sold on the auction house, this comes out to 600k in 5 minutes. Which if we did this for an hour, it'd equal to 7.2 million coins. And all you need for this is a god pot and a pickaxe. So this is a really good money making method. But anyways, now we have access to the end and there's going to be a lot better money making methods over there. But something unexpected happened while I was traveling to the end. Okay, so the Jerry Island just released and this allows me to do a really OP money making method. So we're going to test it out right now. For this next money making method, you need to go to the ice caves where you'll find some presents in the wall. So if we use the mod NEU, it allows us to highlight the frozen treasures, which should in turn allow us to just see where all the presents are and makes this a lot easier to grind. So I'm going to be doing it now of this and see how much money we make. Okay, the Jerry Workshops is just closed, so I did about 30 minutes of grinding and we're going to total it all up and see how much we made. Okay, so if we sell all our jobs that we got in the 30 minutes, it's 2.5 million coins. But we also got some Glacial Rings and Talismans, so we're just going to auction all of these. And then we'll find out how much we made in 30 minutes of this money making method. Okay, so once all these talismans sell, we should have 5 mil profit in 30 minutes. So if we did it for an hour, we'd have 10 mil. So it's 10 mil now, which is really good. Considering all you need is a pickaxe and then maybe a god potion for the speed. So yeah, that's a really good money making method. But because I just showed you a really overpowered money making method, it would really help me out if you could just check if you're subscribed. Because I'm currently trying to beat Menacing Banana in subscribers. Okay, so we're in the end, and for our fourth money-making method, we're going to be mining these shiny blocks. For my setup, I'm going to be using a Dreadlord Sword and an Efficiency 5 Diamond Pickaxe with Wise Armor. There are two expensive items that we are searching from these blocks. The first one being Titanic Bottles, and then Might Gel from the Endermites. Oh, and I'm also going to be using the NEU mod, which just allows you to highlight all the Ender Nodes, and makes it so much easier to see them. Anyways, let's start mining. Okay, well, you probably don't want me to show you 7 hours of me just mining obsidian, so I'll show you how much I made. Okay, so I've been grinding this for about 9 hours, and we're at 62 million coins, so we're past halfway. Oh, and I also just forgot to add that the money-making method makes around 7 mil an hour, which is pretty good to be honest. But it is worse compared to the present one in the Jerry Island, although the Jerry Island isn't always open. It's only open every like 5 days, so I guess you can always do this one. Okay, so for my last money making method so I can make the final 40 million coins, I'm going to be farming in the new garden area. So I've unlocked the garden, I have all four plots with wheat, uh, I've bought a wheat hoe, a rancher boots but we can't use that yet, an elephant pet, and also a personal compactor. So we're going to try to get our farming skill leveled up and this should make us a lot of money hopefully. So let's get grinding. 
and after hours and hours of farming, I was getting close to 100 million coins. Okay, so I was able to make around 7 million coins an hour from farming the wheat, but don't forget that the higher farming level you get, the more coins you make, so I'll obviously progressively get more coins. And also, I didn't use any of the new garden update items, such as like Fermento and Squash, so you could probably make a lot more, like 10, 11 mil, if you just get a better setup and you level up your farming level too. Okay, so once all of this sells, hopefully we should have 100 million coins. <laughs> I hope. <laughs> Okay, so it's been a few hours and we're gonna log on to Skyblock and let's see if anything has sold. Oh, okay. So everything but this has sold. Okay, so if we take the money from the bank. Okay, we're, we're four mil off. Okay. Um, we could probably spend our bits. This will get us close. Okay, so let's just buy some heat calls and we can only buy one. Okay, well the heat call just sold, but we're still two mil short. So for our final money making method, I'm going to be begging as an ego. Yeah, bet you didn't see that coming. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna auction this blood rune and then we're gonna try get someone to bid 2 million coins on it. Uh, let's put this for 20 minutes and we'll see if we can get 22 mil off this blood rune. Okay, that did not work out. We only got 80k coins. Um, I don't really know what to do now. Uh... Okay, so I then decided to party random rich people and ask them for 2 million coins. <laughs> And after many attempts, it finally worked. Oh my god. I convinced someone to do it. Finally. Oh my god. Okay, let's just wait for this auction to end and we'll have 100 million coins. Okay, I think it just ended. Oh my god. If we claim this right, we'll have 100 million coins in under 19 hours. Oh my god. This is actually insane. Anyways, thank you so much for watching, and if you enjoyed this one, I'm sure you're going to enjoy the one on the screen right now. It's about me getting as many Skyblock levels as possible in 24 hours.